Hello D reviewers, and welcome once more to the break. Before we get started, hit the like and subscribe button and we will be on our way. In today's episode, the royal biographer said that Prince Harry and Prince William would have had a superior relationship, assuming the Duke of Sussex had hitched Kate Middleton, the spouse of the Duke of Cambridge, rather than Meghan Markle. While talking about her most recent book, The Palace Papers, Royal Master Tina Brown remarked on Prince Harry and Prince William's kinship. That's what she trusts assuming the Duke of Sussex had hitched somebody like his sister by marriage, Princess Diana's young men would have a superior relationship now. Everything relied upon who Harry wedded. On the off chance that Harry wedded someone like Kate, I'm very certain their relationship would have been preservable, Brown told Marie Claire. Growing up, Prince William and Prince Harry were incredibly close. In any event, when the Duke of Cambridge wedded Kate Middleton, they stayed close. The three royals were near the point that they were named the royal threesome in light of their closeness. Prince Harry was previously alluded to as his siblings in Third Regulation's wheel. Whenever Prince Harry met and wedded Meghan Markle, however, everything changed. At first, royal fans anticipated that the royal triplet should turn into the Fab Four, however Princess Diana and Prince Charles's children chose to keep their families discreet. Prince Harry sought after such an alternate course now from William, heading out to carry on with a basically Hollywood life Meghan, showed him a different universe that he observed substantially more energizing. I grasp it, however it's been exceptionally troublesome to their relationship, Brown said. The two children of Princess Diana and Prince Charles were brought together. Growing up, they were each other's stone. Prince Harry, then again, was disappointed when his more seasoned sibling encouraged him to gradually take his romance with Meghan Markle more. To be reasonable for Prince William, he held no noxiousness toward his more youthful sibling and simply wanted what was best for him at that point. Prior to proposing to Kate Middleton, the Duke of Cambridge took as much time as necessary. As a result of the extended sit-tight for Prince William's proposition, the Duchess of Cambridge was prodded and named Wady Katie by a larger number of people. Just his sibling, Prince William, knew how he moved toward dating and marriage. Tragically, that didn't go down well with Prince Harry. It was generally down to Harry hating his sibling, royal journalist Kate Nichol said, by means of Daily Star. Nichol added. Harry upheld his sibling from the beginning with Kate, and he felt extremely let down that he wasn't getting his sibling's full, 100% support with his relationship with Meghan, and things changed. The two siblings are at present supposed to be at struggle. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex didn't get to see the Cambridges when they visited the Queen and Prince Charles in the United Kingdom last month, prior to making a beeline for the Netherlands for the Invictus Games, on the grounds that the family was on a ski trip in the French Alps at that point. In other news, a previous royal insurance official talked about the possible motivation behind why Prince Harry isn't permitted to pay for his own police security while in the UK. Addressing the Today Show in April, Prince Harry said he needs to go to the Queen's Jubilee festivities in June, which marked the ruler's 70 years on the high position, however security issues could keep him from doing as such. Harry and Meghan Markle surrendered their entitlement to openly subsidize police security when they left royal obligations in April 2020. In September 2021, the prince pursued for a legal survey of an administration choice that banned him from specifically paying for police insurance while in the UK. Simon Morgan, a previous royal insurance official who worked for the Queen from 2007 until 2013, let Insider know that the choice was possible made so not to set a troublesome point of reference. Whenever you reach a place where you can pay for it, that would start a troublesome trend. Since, in such a case that you can pay for it, it can actually go to the most noteworthy bidder, Morgan told Insider. Anybody with a specific level of abundance could pay for it you're taking a gander at needs versus needs for assurance, he said. And furthermore, it comes down to something very basic, there most likely aren't sufficient insurance officials to satisfy that need. The Met Police declined to remark when reached by Insider. While agents for the Duke of Sussex didn't promptly answer insider's solicitation for input, a legitimate representative for Prince Harry said in an explanation acquired by Ahmed Scobie in January that while the Sussexes have a private security group in the US, that security can't repeat the essential police insurance while in the UK. The representative added that Harry's security was split the difference during a visit to the UK in July 2021 because of the shortfall of police insurance. Morgan, who set up his own private security firm, Trojan Consultancy, in the wake of leaving the royal family, let Insider know that it's not shocking that Harry's inclination is police assurance over a private firm. 
The Duke of Sussex has grown up with support to grave police security, and he obviously esteems that range of abilities, Morgan said. Yet, when you venture beyond that, there aren't much of groups that have insight with managing such high-profile standards. Buckingham Palace didn't promptly answer insider solicitation for input. If you made it to the end of the video, kindly hit the subscribe button and leave a comment, it helps the channel.